Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and seeing me for the first time, hello, my name is Nicole. I am a lifestyle content creator and a bride-to-be getting married in June. And today is Thursday, December 23rd. It's Christmas Eve Eve, which I am so excited about. But um, I am splitting up this Christmas week vlog into two parts. So you've already seen part one if you're on this one right now. And if you haven't, go ahead and check it out. I will put it in the card and also leave it down below for you guys to watch. Make sure you watch that one before you watch this one. But I decided to vlog this week because one, it's Christmas, and two, I wanna get more into vlogging in 2022. So I figured this is the best time to do so. And yeah, so it split those up in two parts. So this is gonna start a new vlog. Um, but it is about 9.15 right now. I just got in my car. I'm about to run to the store and grab some things because tonight we are having Cousins Christmas with all of my cousins coming over to one of my cousin's house and getting together to celebrate Christmas and just have a good night with all of our cousins. I have a super big family, so we always like to do stuff like this, but this is actually the first time we're doing a cousin's Christmas, but it kind of sparked off of the cousin's giving that we actually had for Thanksgiving the day before. So excited to do that tonight. So got to grab a couple things for that. We are in charge of bringing salad, which is fine by me because I have been obsessed with Caesar salad. These like last couple months, like everywhere I go, I'm like Caesar salad, Caesar salad. <laughs> so um, we're in charge of that. Got to grab a couple other things to the store. And then um, I'm going to run to Starbucks probably, come home. I have a couple more gifts to wrap for Tyler. And he's a saint. I have the best fiance in the world, you guys. Every morning before I go to work, Tyler comes outside and starts my car. Even if he doesn't have to go to the office that day. He is like literally a saint and I'm so thankful for him. Even today, like he ended up going to the office and he comes in and he goes, babe, do you want me to set your car? What time are you leaving? He's the best. He is the best. So we started my car, so it's nice and warm. So I'm gonna get off and go to the store and I'll update you guys in a little bit, but happy Christmas Eve Eve. Merry Christmas Eve Eve. I don't know, but let's get the day started. Hello friends, I am back. I am chilling in Tyler's I don't know, space, den, room, I don't know. But went to Starbucks, went to the store, got everything we needed, then talked to my mom and figured out that there were plans that changed for tomorrow. So now we're not going to my grandma's house tomorrow for Christmas Eve. We're not going there till Christmas Day. So now we don't have anything really to do tomorrow and no meal ready and prepared for at least the four of us, like Tyler, myself, my mom, and my brother. So, headed back to the store, like, in a little bit, but that's okay. Stopped at Starbucks, got my caramel brulee, got Tyler a little something. He'll be real excited about that. And I got a reindeer cake pop, which is so cute. I literally don't think I've had a cake pop in, I don't know, probably, like, a couple years it's been a long time but this little thing was so cute i don't want to eat it but i'm gonna eat it mm. Mm -hmm. i ate it's ear really good though tonight is cousins christmas so we're super excited about that my two cousins are actually having it at their house which is nice um because we hosted uh, cousins giving for Thanksgiving which was amazing so that is what sparked us to do a Christmas version but we're all excited about that that's kind of really all I have on my agenda today besides going back to the store to get some things for tomorrow for Christmas Eve but and I also have to pick up a couple more gift cards so I'll do all that in a little bit but you guys I wanted to share a really quick story with you because I don't think I've ever shared it on my vlog channel vlog channel YouTube channel um, but I have shared it on my TikTok and I don't know if I uploaded the short here either, but if I didn't, I will, but I had gotten this necklace and it might be hard to tell what it is on camera, but this is actually a necklace of my dad's fingerprint. So a little bit of the backstory on that. When my dad passed away in June, my aunt Amy had called the funeral home and asked if they could fingerprint my dad and the funeral home called us and we didn't know that it was my aunt at the time um the funeral director called us and said um 
the person wants to remain anonymous but they want to fingerprint my dad to make custom jewelry from his fingerprint and my mom and I had never heard of that before so we were kind of like a little bit sketched out we're like is this legit is someone trying to scam us like what the heck and lo and behold it wasn't it ended up being this necklace and we found out that it was my aunt that decided to make this customized jewelry for us but once I got this necklace I posted a TikTok about it just talking about it how meaningful it is to me how special it is and kind of just to spread awareness that there's things like this out there so if you do have a family member that is maybe you know declining or if this ends up happening to someone unexpectedly like it did to me this is such an amazing thing to do because the company that this is from is called Legacy Touch and I when I posted my TikTok about it I just like hashtagged legacy touch lo and behold a couple weeks ago they reached out to me and said that they saw my video and that they wanted to use it on their social media platforms and of course i said yes 100 percent. feel free to use whatever you want um because i do i mean it was just raw it was real it wasn't sponsored nothing and this isn't sponsored either but with that they found my video they reached out to me and again asked if they could use my video and also in that video that i made i made a comment and i said i would love to get a charm bracelet with my dad's fingerprint on it for my wedding day so that i can wear it and really feel like he is here with me on that day um and lo and behold in the message that they sent me about social media posts and all that stuff in the video they also said that they wanted to gift me the charm bracelet i was like completely speechless completely speechless because this stuff is not cheap like it is very 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 meaningful and it is so worth it but it's definitely not cheap but for them to one even reach out and just like say hello and that they wanted to use my video in the first place is amazing and i was so happy that they found it that they even wanted to use that content on their page but then to secondly tell me that they wanted to gift me that charm bracelet that i want to wear on my wedding day how incredible is that like it just goes to show how amazing of a company that they are and it literally meant the world to me so with that being said i actually got the charm bracelet in the mail yesterday literally right in time for christmas now i have not only this amazing necklace that i get to wear every day but now i have this incredible charm bracelet that i also get to wear every single day and will literally have for the rest of my life but now i also get to wear this on my wedding day which i am so over the moon excited about and so i want to show you guys a little bit about it so legacy touch is a customized fingerprint jewelry company so when a loved one passes away or like i said if you know a loved one is kind of declining and you're not sure how long they're going to be here legacy touch can make custom jewelry for you with your loved one's fingerprint i love what this company does i love what this company stands for and i was talking about this in another video that i'm going to post on my tiktok but just how meaningful a fingerprint is like do you understand that there is nobody else in this world that has the same fingerprint as you or as your loved one in my case my dad and i just think it is absolutely incredible that i will now have a piece of my dad with me forever and ever and this is like it's so cool because you can feel it and it brings me so much peace every time I felt my necklace and now every time I feel this bracelet because it feels like I'm connected to my dad um which is amazing so with that being said this was the charm bracelet that they gifted me and this is in no way sponsored at all I authentically want to share this with people so that everyone else in the world knows that there is something like this out there because it can really really help you get through some tough times just like i've been going through myself i don't know how well it's actually going to show up on here but this is my dad's fingerprint which is incredible and then on the back i don't know if it's gonna um let me try to i don't know if it's gonna catch but it has his i got his initials monogrammed on the back um which is just so incredible like 
absolutely incredible. And then his birthday is in September, so I got a little blue stone for his birth month. And then I also got um, this little angel wing as well. I don't know if it's going to pick that up. I got this angel wing as well. So I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to Legacy Touch and everyone at their company and their team of people who reached out to me. Um, you guys literally not only made my Christmas, <laughs> but made my year so much better by getting this gift. And I am so excited to wear this on my wedding day and I am so excited to cherish this and my necklace literally for the rest of my life. I will put Legacy Touches um, website here on the screen and then I'll also put them down below as well with their social media platforms because again I'm not being told to say this I'm not sponsored at all but I truly believe in what this company does and what they stand for and I just want to spread the word even more this is something super special to do if someone passes away whether it's for a friend or it's for yourself I am over the moon about this I'm literally probably gonna wear it every single day just like I do my necklace and I cannot wait again to wear it on my wedding day it's gonna be super duper special so thank you again to legacy touch you guys mean the world to me even though i don't know any of you personally it just made my day made my world made my year so thank you guys so much and with that i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go get some other things done and i will check back in with you guys in a little bit hello friends it is almost six o'clock right now and we are going to be getting ready to go to cousins christmas so i am all ready to go got my green on that being said i will see you guys on christmas eve and let me show you my outfit real quick so i really should turn my ring light on but i don't feel like doing that right now but I just straightened my hair, same makeup as earlier. I put on like a green turtleneck with some gold jewelry, black jeans, gold Gucci belt, and uh, yeah, ready for Cousins Christmas. One more thing, my best friend Kenzie, we went to their house the other night for Christmas, um, just had like dinner with them and hung out. She got me this puffy, fuzzy jacket, and I am obsessed with it I opened it up and I was like literally so excited it's so soft and so fluffy and just like oversized and just so cute I'm literally gonna wear it tonight so I can't wait thanks Kenzie girl So the first cup of coffee in the espresso, it's going to be by yours truly. Let's see here, bad glare, bad glare. There you go, I think it's called the Bianco Forte. coffee in the morning. It's going to be fun. You press the button and here we go. Ooh. Swiggle. You got the foam. Oh yeah. Chick-fil-A. 
the goods. So, we got two chicken sandwiches. Um, one, yeah. One is a spicy chicken sandwich. The other one's a regular chicken sandwich with Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah. What'd you get, hon? I got a Chick Fil A sandwich with no pickles and French fries and a water. Good investment. I think I'm doing really good in my hometown. Yeah, so the lady at this Chick-fil-A that we always come to in Pittsburgh is independently owned. And for Christmas, this woman, they like did a news story on it. They did, um, she gave away like a car, she gave away like thousands of dollars, she gave away like- Louis Vuitton bags. Yeah, Louis Vuitton bags, like, all this stuff to her employees for Christmas. For somebody that was in need as well, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't just like, oh, here's a car for you. Like, it here's was an employee, but like. Yeah, needed a car. Needed a car. Had a like, family. Yeah. Which is awesome. But we don't really have anything else planned for the rest of the day, really, besides church at seven. Oh, we got cook. And dinner. Are you finger lickers? <laughs> We have a friend that hates when we lick our fingers. Oh my gosh. Some hates people really it. hate when you lick your fingers. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I don't know. You lick your fingers, don't you? A little bit. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're pretty ladylike. That's a ladylike thing. To a degree. It's okay if I pull that out. I was going to say, it's also like 57 degrees here in Pittsburgh on Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's all, all day rain. All day rain, which absolutely stinks. Like, if you're gonna rain, give me snow. Yeah. You know? Especially on Christmas. Like, last year we had such a beautiful Christmas. I mm, love Chick fil A sauce. Mm -hmm. Or I do. Yeah, you. I'm not a big sauce person. <laughs> well, you don't really need it with Chick fil A. You don't. The only sauce I'll use is like literally for my nut or my, I almost said my nuggets, for my fries. Just some ketchup. But I know some people are very, very adamant on their Chick fil A sauces. You can't eat it if they don't have like Polynesian sauce or whatever they call it. Or what? Fifth one. Number five, honey. Merry Christmas. I just wanted to show you my outfit really quick before we leave. We're headed to my grandma's house. You saw us open up presents this morning, which was awesome. So let me show you my outfit and I gotta go. All right, Christmas day outfit. I have on black tights, black snakeskin boots, leather skirt, Gucci belt, green velvet top, which is kind of hard to tell in the picture, 
white vest, black Gucci belt, and we are off to grandma's. So it is Christmas day, but I have not filmed a ton of stuff today just because it's honestly been so busy. We went over to, uh, well, we woke up this morning. I made chocolate chip muffins and we opened up gifts and then went over to my grandma's and had like a early Christmas lunch brunch kind of thing and then we're there till about five and then just came home I literally changed so fast into my PJs just so I can be comfortable and um relax and Hitler is just doing some stuff downstairs right now I was just going through some of our gifts up here my battery is dying and uh just wanted to say merry christmas to you guys and all your family and thanks for sticking around for this vlog this week um i think tyler and i are gonna make hot cocoa bombs later so i might film that but if i don't i just wanted to say merry christmas hope you guys have a great holiday with your families and i will hopefully pop back on soon okay so we're back we are going to make <laughs> hot cocoa bombs and we have there's the surprise guests we are gonna make we got these from a place called the chocolate boutique it's in the robinson area of pittsburgh and they we've been talking about wanting to make hot cocoa bombs for so long and we have hot chocolate all the time we do we have hot chocolate all the time and we never, we never made hot chocolate bombs hot cocoa bombs before so we're gonna do it we have the milk in, I don't know if you, no, you can really see it, in a um, pot over here, warming up because it says you have to put this into a cup and then pour, <laughs> pour the uh, milk over top. So I just got a regular milk chocolate bomb, but what'd you get? I got a peppermint milk chocolate peppermint. bomb. Which sounds good. Can you grab the scissors for me, please? So we can pop these open. Yeah, you want to grab those cups? Yeah. I want the S. Okay. Mine's in the washer. I'll take the N. Okay. So I want to show these because they're super cute. These are about to be my new initials this time next year. Yes. Nicole what? NLS. Nicole Lynn Stratton. Woohoo! Alright. So this one is mine. They are so cute little things. Oh, very delicate. Oh my gosh. There's like... Of course, yeah. Stuff inside. How cute. So I'm gonna put this in the cup. And then you wanna show yours? This is mine. There we go. Peppermint on top there. Looks good. Nice little whisk. I didn't want to burn the milk, but yeah, I'm excited for these. These are going to be so fun. And so what? Cute. So fun, so cute. Came home and I put my PJs back on because why not? Did you have a good Christmas? I did. Did you? I did. Yeah, it was good. All all things considered, it was all good. All things considered, yeah, it was pretty good. We actually just opened up um, a gift from my aunt and my uncle, and they got us our comforter set for our bed yep. when we get married. It's really nice. It's white. Which is what the bed currently is. <laughs> yeah, he has the kind of the same it's setup, but it's a lot nicer. It's actually from Target. I can link it down below. Um and they got us a gift card to go out to eat at like Which we always do we always go out to eat well not always but we we go out to eat probably twice a week well yeah but not like to a dinner dinner like to a chipotle it just, it just like fast dinners but those aren't only two options really chipotle or chipotle chipotle, or chipotle are really our top two places we like to go to um but yeah how's that going 
You think it's hot enough? I'm hoping. I'm I think it should be fine. Wait till I see some steam rolling in. Okay, we can try it. All right.